greetings and welcome to Georgian Crossroads. I am on the side of Matatsaminda Mountain and if I hold this up maybe you can see the city below me. If it sounds like there is work going on, it's because there is. There is a construction project of a couple of uh, apartments uh, going up. Guys are working outdoors, there's no problem doing that, but what I thought I would do is give you a little bit of a uh, uh, catch-up on what's happening with the virus situation here on Tbilisi. I've done this on my other channel, The Anadromist, and I'll put a link to uh, my updates below there, but I thought I would do one for Georgian Crossroads here. Yes, indeed, the virus has come. Today is uh, March 22nd. There were 48 cases of the virus this morning. And uh, fortunately, it looks like the cases, they're there. But uh, there are, uh, the Georgians seem to be doing a pretty good job of containing it thus far. And I would stress thus far because um, there has been one case that no one knows exactly how the person contracted it, which means it's probably out in the city. There are over almost 4,000 people under uh, stay-at-home quarantine, and there are about 50 that have been put on serious lockdown because they escaped that quarantine earlier uh, because they wanted to get out. These are people who have had contact with people or have been out of the country so they don't have the virus that we know of yet, nevertheless. Um, but the city is on a very serious sort of uh, lockdown now. Yesterday, uh, the president declared a state of emergency. And so that means you can get in trouble if you don't do the right thing. So, for instance... Uh, no parties, no uh, gatherings of more than 10 people. We still are allowed to go to the store. And I went to the big car for yesterday. Actually, I was on my way to another store. They call it the Goodwill, not to be confused with the institution in America that sells thrift goods. But this is a large grocery store. It has more German products, where Carrefour has more French products. Anyway, I was going to the uh, Tbilisi Galleria to go down into their basement to uh, go to the Goodwill to pick up some things. And the entire Galleria Mall, this brand new mall, absolutely black inside. Everywhere you go here, there are blackened stores. McDonald's is completely closed. Wendy's is closed. I have to change where I get my uh, packages from Amazon now, which I get through a company called USA to Georgia. I have to go take a subway and go quite a ways to, away to get those things.
There was, uh, last time I was at Carrefour, the toilet paper rows had taken a bit of a hit, but there was still toilet paper there. But fortunately, when I went yesterday, uh, stocked full of toilet paper. However, other goods were disappearing. So things that, uh, since Carrefour has French connections, it seems like things coming from France have slowed down radically. So I picked up, made sure I picked up uh, goods that I could only get at Carrefour. Uh, French cookies, uh, French uh, bio products, bio-organic products, uh, you know, different kinds of uh, uh, cheeses, things like that. And I stocked up on that sort of thing. Uh, but the good thing is, is there's, there doesn't seem to be any general sense of panic here. There is a sense that this is very serious, and people are taking it seriously. Not everyone, but then again, that's true everywhere. There's always people who just, you know, say, I don't believe it. Um, but uh, yesterday I was listening to, uh, you know, uh, journalist Tim Poole, uh, who was commenting on the situation. He was reading one report from a doctor on the West Coast in America. Uh, the doctor was almost, had been joking, saying like, heck, we ought to just like get this virus so we can stay out. He was a younger guy. And he said when he first started working on his first case, he was like, oh my goodness, this is nothing like anything we prepared for, the symptoms. I mean, yeah, it's it's respiratory, but don't expect the common cold here when it, it takes a, a dark turn. And, you know, what we're seeing in other countries, in France, in Europe, you know, Italy has just gone insane with numbers climbing every day. Uh, Spain's gone crazy. O oddly enough, of course, in Spain... There was a, uh, a situation where they had like a big protest rally not long ago. And it was like people's right to get out and protest. Yeah, now Spain is a hot spot for the virus. So the rule is take this seriously, but do not be afraid. What else? Uh, flights coming in and out, not happening, except from Georgian Airlines, and then I think on a very reduced schedule only to get Georgians back. Is it good that Georgians come back from infected countries and such? Well, we will see. Someone came back from Italy. I am sure that person is under a serious uh, stay-at-home quarantine. Uh, we don't know what this is going to do. And it's causing a lot of uh, strange conditions around the world. That's the kind of thing I deal with more in my uh, Anadromous channel. And if you're interested, you can go over there and, like I said, I'll have links to what's going on. But while I'm here, I'm obviously showing you what the streets look like, uh, showing you the, the kind of emptiness and darkness of things. Uh, far fewer people taking the metro and, and the buses. I mean, I got on a bus yesterday. I normally wouldn't take a bus, except I need to get somewhere quicker. I hopped on. There was like three people on the bus. Not bad. I just sat in the back, didn't touch anything. Made sure I used hand sanitizer uh, liberally, uh, you know, and went on like that. Anyway, yes, indeed, the virus has come to Georgia. And I am going to show you more about it as time goes on. Uh, but I just thought I'd let you know what the situation is here. Obviously, no one is traveling. No one's coming to this channel for current traveling advice or anything like that. So we'll just have to see what this means. I'm looking at this as a big pause. The world has been uh, technophagous, eating technology, just devouring it uh, since the late 90s. It's time to take a pause. And what's interesting is I'm on the side of the mountain here. You can't see anybody because I walked off on a dog leg on a different trail that no one's on. Oh, there's still, you know, I still see trash here and there. Uh, uh, these mountains got to be cleaned up. But that's another story. But uh, there's quite a few people walking around in the mountain area. Why? It's perfectly safe here. You, you don't get into uh, serious contact with anyone. It's, it's a great place. I see uh, there was a mother with her 
young, like, three-year-old son walking around. It's great. And I think that sort of thing is great. Uh, there, I saw a cartoon recently, or, or maybe it was a meme, where someone showed, uh, you know, normal life. Everyone's sitting at home on their, <laughs> on their computers and stuff, all, all hunkered down. Uh, the viral life. People outdoors suddenly. Well, so be it. Let's, let's go outdoors more. And I'm out here to get exercise because hiking up here, I'm probably 1,700 feet up uh, the side of the mountain. Uh, and But it's just good exercise. And, um, you know, such is life. So I'm keeping clear and safe. I'm not touching anybody out there. I had a friend come over yesterday and, you know, the new ritual on the way in. Here, wash your hands. Before you go, wash your hands. It's just, it's all about keeping clean. It's all about not touching people. Uh, and to me, uh, I hope anyone watching this is tr trying to stay as safe as possible. And if you've got some sort of illness right now from this, I wish you very well. Anyway, this is Burn Power for Georgian Crossroads here in Tbilisi, Georgia saying to you what the Georgians often say, Kargan Ikhali, which means basically, be well.